Hey, it's me, Jimmy D, and welcome to a uh, little discussion here. Uh, first impressions, reaction of the first two episodes of the new CW show, Riverdale, which is a uh, loose adaptation of the Archie comics. Um, I'm here with Soul. Hi there. Uh, <laughs> hey, you actually remember me this time. So... Uh, I've seen the first episode. You've seen the first, the both of them. I've seen the first two. Yeah, I am. I, I like started the second episode. I just haven't finished it yet. And uh, but I feel like the first impressions will still matter with the first episode. Yeah. Um, also, for those of you who are uh, wondering what the hell I'm doing, I'm just looking up articles on kind of what um, the reaction around online is, because if. You watch anything the CW has pretty much done. It they've like made it almost like their new thing, the new hit series Riverdale coming. Watch it Thursday nine. Yada yada. I've seen a lot of shows that have been the new hit mm -hmm. series that don't really stick around, and it's one of those to where uh, it has me worried. Uh, the show does have me worried about a couple mm -hmm. things. Um, one that if this is going to be a show that they're going to want to do multi seasons, I don't know how. Yeah, yeah, I, I, I got like like I when I first started the first episode, I was like, well, this could go on, but then the whole season setup thing with the death. Um, I was yeah, like, it's can't like kill someone off every season. No, you can't, like, I, I expect this whole seasonal, this whole death to be wrapped up, um, you know, by this, this first season. Um, I, don't, I, I expect more people to die this first season, like minor characters. Like, and I have a theory on who I think might die uh, later. But, um, uh, like, but bit bottom line, I see this being wrapped up by the first season. If you are get greenlit for a second season, which they have been probably really good. Like, if you go on IMDb, they have a seven point six Metacritic. They're at a sixty seven percent. They've got a cult fan base online. You know, oh, so it, yeah, they got a fan base online. Damn. So it's like it's bottom line is um, the show's not shit. Yeah. Okay. So, and even CW is agreeing like it's the new hit series. It's not a hit. If it does but it's, a, up, a, it's a new series. <laughs> right. I understand it's in this really good phase of people are liking it. If it gets picked up for a season 2, I don't know how they can really continue. Continue the the the, the hit, you know. Like there's a lot I do like about this episode. Mm -hmm. Like this series. Yeah. So, do you just want to... Do you have any other bads before we get to the goods? Uh, one bad I have is... I saw it with the first episode and a little bit in the second episode. The, like, the parts I've seen. Um, they introduce a lot about each character all of a sudden and at such a quick pace that it doesn't absorb quickly because you're like wait what um or like you had no fucking clue something was going down and then they tell you the backstory kind of like with the teacher yeah like, they were looking at each other like uh, why the hell are they looking at each other like that and then all of a sudden then they tell you the backstory it's like uh the backstory should have kind of came before they saw each other like that yeah I, I kind of agree with that. Um, I also kind of... <sighs> there's this... And this is the thing about it being on the CW. There's that section of the group, of the show, that you can tell it's written by Archie fans. Mm -hmm. Or fans of the comics that will sit there and write, that, that write these characters. But then there's also that kind of corporate shadow just standing there. Yeah. I could, I could tell that, too. Um, you know... It's almost as the Archie comic character is the person, and then the corporate is their shadow. Like, it's yeah. following them, it, it, it's in the silhouette of them, and, like, some creepy imagery and all, but, yeah. like... It's like, it's like, you know that scene, or should we say spoilers or not, or... They're watching this, they've seen it. 
Okay. I'm um, like that scene where Betty and Veronica kiss. Yeah, that's not comic book. That's a that's a that's a CW sex mm. scene. Mm, the kids like. Yeah. Totally. I uh, was like, what? It's like this is not. You know. This, because it's it happened so early on in the first episode that it like you hadn't even fully absorbed. Uh, what was going on? Yeah, like you hadn't even really you hadn't even absorbed much of the Archie comicness. No, you That's hadn't. When that gets thrown at you, and it's like, oh, okay. Um, you want to go over the goods? Um, yeah, like there's there's a lot of really good. Yeah. Like I like the acting. I like the um set design. Ooh, the set design is one of the the best things I think. Um. Just the way it. I like. I like that it's lighting. it's both a modern. It's I like it that it's set in that same 50s, 60s style, but in a more modern mm-hmm. era uh, take. And just the the um, camera lighting. Camera lighting's really good. I also do like some of the acting. Yeah. Like with CW type shows, it's kind of hit or miss. True. And when I saw it's, Cole Cole Sprout sitting in there. Like, yeah, well, here's the thing. I kind of read some articles. He's trying to kind of move away mm-hmm. from yeah, Disney. Yeah, which most of them do once they kind of leave the company. And I liked him in this. I did. I did. I did. Oh, he's my favorite fucking character in this entire yes, show. Same. Like his whole want to be like a, a like a reporter kind of telling the the but also the narrator but he's also kind of the you know cynical snark from what the traditional jughead character was who his whole characteristic was he loved burgers yes. oh. i'm like okay okay i like this i like this a lot um i actually do find the mystery of who killed uh, jason uh blossom actually interesting mm-hmm. you know it it's honestly I don't tell me if uh, I'm wrong, but watching it, I was getting Netflix vibes. It it was yeah, I was. It was kind of like a Netflix series type feeling to it. Like it really, it it had those vibes, and I was like, huh. Okay. Well, I mean, except for the uh, the dating the teacher thing, that was kind of nope. <laughs> that um that. That uh, I have some issues with, <laughs> um, but those are better said offline. Um, but uh, yeah, it, that that didn't go over well. What are what are the good things you think? Um, drug. Uh, <laughs> well, my my personal favorite is um probably my my one of my personal favorite characters in here, Asian dude bro Reggie, yeah. as the people like to call him. I, just when you said that, I was like, when I you told me his name and all, I was like, and told which character that that was, I was like, oh my god, yes, like. I, think so I love him so much because like he's the one character in the show like everyone has kind of this like you know dark and secret and brooding past Asian dude bro Reggie's like nah I don't care I don't care <laughs> I'm gonna play this as stereotypical as possible he feels a very comic booky. He no he feels very CW esque and I'm like sure. okay you know what I need this you know what sure I need Why this not? I need this. You need to remind me what channel I'm watching. I know. <laughs> um, because honestly, if it really wasn't for him, you w- wouldn't be able to t- really tell it was a CW show. I would tell at certain aspects mm-hmm. of the show, but not like, you know, full blown. Oh, yeah. You know, there's actually some really, there's some actually some really, I got some really legitimate, funny, like, dialogue moments mm-hmm. out of this. Especially from the gay best friend. Yeah. The, <laughs> so good. The gay best friend's pretty funny. Um, um, anything else? Uh, I can't really think of anything off the top of my head. This is also really late, so True. it's kind of one of those. To- we had just, we've we been playing catch up. <laughs> yeah. Uh, but, uh, yeah. We'll probably bring you uh, a further episode of maybe... Pro- I'm thinking two weeks down the road. We'll do two weeks at a time most likely um episode four i want to do a nights on this okay. so 
to see like once episode four and airs. Yeah. You know that that we do we kind of collect our thoughts because I have like I have theories Mm -hmm. on what can happen, but I need more evidence to kind of prove it. Um, so stay tuned for when... But it is a 13-episode series, so... Well, episode cool. four, there will be a Knights of the Geek table on. Um, that is a guarantee. Um, um, as a, what would you give kind of your, like... Overall? So obviously you would rec- obviously we would recommend it. Yes. Even though, honestly, I don't have to give this show a three-episode rule. I don't either. I'm, I'm hooked um, enough yeah. to where there's an... There's there's enough to keep me around. I don't know if it depends on how you end this. Depends on if you do get greenlit for a second season, I would come back. But there's enough to keep me here. At, at least through the end of the season. Yeah. Um, but yeah, um, that's going to do it for this video. Thank you so much for watching. Hope you enjoyed it. And uh, if you did, As always, hit the like button. Geek out. I hadn't even finished my outro. You have this fancy title screen at the freaking end. I don't think you need an outro. All right, well, thank you so much for watching. Hope. Oh shit! Now I fucked up my own outro. <laughs> Bye, everybody. Later.